Good evening, everyone, and welcome back to Total War Warhammer. So, we've just put down the orc incursion in uh, Corona here. Now, our goal, our currently, our goal is to try and get rid of these orcs up here in the mountains. We've got a temporary, you know, truce with Marienburg going, so we shouldn't have to worry about them, you know, stabbing us in the back while we're dealing with that. But, we are going to need a few more troops before we can, you know, fully wipe them out. So, we need to build up our army. Uh, which means... Hang on. We need to have a plus. Oh, you're reinforcing. So, I'm thinking I might, uh, ditch the peasant mobs. Because I just don't think they're particularly useful. And I'd rather replace them with, like, more spearmen at arms or something. Um, because they're, you know, just better units. Same with men at arms. I'd rather have if we're if we're running with the kind of peasant economy thing that Bretonia has. I'd rather have a smaller force so that my economy can you know grow. So we're gonna. How do I dismiss these assholes? Okay, it's taking a little while to load up there. Is it just loading like? Okay, whatever. Uh, how do I? I click just like ah. Here we go. So we'll disband these guys. There we go. And we will recruit some new troops. What do we need? Well, we should get some more archers, because we're actually running quite short on archers at the moment. So hire me. What is that little... More peasants in your army than your faction can sustain. Our green will have a negative effect on your farming income. Oh. Hmm. That's a problem. Okay, so... We're actually going to need to shrink our army a little bit here. Hmm. That is an issue. We're going to have to sort out how to, how to uh, deal with that. Well, do we build anything, maybe, that will help us here? Uh, da -da -da. not really. Ah, we can upgrade this, which is probably worth it. Can we upgrade this as well? Yeah, okay, so we can upgrade both of these. And we can upgrade the rally field, but that doesn't really help us. Let's upgrade our town. Does this increase our... That doesn't seem to increase our, uh population. It's unfortunate, but it's probably for the best. It'll let us get more buildings. We can't upgrade that just I yet. Am the blood of okay, so we should ditch some of our troops, is what I'm getting here, right? Yeah. So, do we have some inexperienced troops? Yeah, we've got a few inexperienced troops, actually. So why don't we just... We'll ditch you guys, because you're under strength already. How are we doing for... We're still we're still a little bit uh, low on numbers here. Just one of these, hang on. Yeah, some of you guys are low on XP. You guys are low on numbers too, so we'll disband you. King okay, there we go. Now we're not Workers suffering penalties for having... The fields. Crops now grow with abundance, and our coffers are full with gold. Fantastic. So now we're getting more gold. So I guess the idea would be that we will, you know, save up for a little bit, we'll build up our economy, and then... Once that's all, you know, sorted itself out, we can recruit a large army, and then go see about those orcs. Now, we've got what you here. You're currently just kind of sitting around, uh, which is reducing our construction costs, which is good. But what can you do if I send you into someone else's territory? I have seen the way. Florence Dubois, our little sorceress lady. So I park you over here. Modifies winds of magic power reserve for enemy armies in local province by minus 10. Cannot currently deploy. Okay. That doesn't seem terribly useful, I'm gonna be honest. Making my way. It might be, but, you know. I don't really feel it. Character sound assigned skill points. Oh! I've unassigned skill points, really? Uh, what do we have? Where am I assigning skill points? Ah, here we go. So, I apparently have a few of these. Where's it? Oh, I have one skill point. Okay, so I can take one of these. Um. Plus 3% for missile infantry units. Plus 3 leadership for melee unit infantry units. Figure loss reduction small. Charge bonus plus 3% recovery units. Ooh, that seems useful. But can we get something? Let's see. Can we get something that increases, that it makes it easier for us to hire troops? Recruitment cost minus 3%. Seems pretty good. Plus 3% local income. So I feel like getting these is better. Because this is our, like you know, our, our king. And he doesn't need to be constantly fighting wars, and he should have, you know, benefits other than, you know, being good at fighting things. So there we go, we can pick up that. Now we can end our turn. There we go. Ah, 
Imminent incursion. Current control minus 93, predicted change minus 14. Control in this province has reached critical levels. We don't act at once, there'll be a riot. How do I increase control exactly? I take my Why don't you guys go and sit in the capital? Okay, that reduces it. What is it? Events minus 20. War declared. Marienburg is fighting the Beastmen. Ooh. Hmm. Very interesting. Anyways, we need to deal with this control issue that we're having, so... Imminent incursion. I don't know what to do about that. Ah. We have... Bonus population grown. Can we build anything in here? Can we upgrade anything? We can upgrade... No, we can't upgrade this. That's too expensive, unfortunately. We can't upgrade any of this, either. Hmm. Very sad. Better arms shield. What is this? Ah! Ooh, we can get better troops. I do like that. Alright. Yeah, let's pick up that. And then, maybe when that pops, we can upgrade our infantry some. I could rename it if I really wanted to, but I don't particularly. Oh, I should have deployed the uh, Witchly. Oh, hello. Ah, good, we got more goblins. Yeah, thank you. Bring by Shady of Insurgents with the Corone. Affecting local control. Our control is actually going plus 20. Anyways, can I... Okay, I've got my army selected. What does this I army look like? Squeak. Mostly goblins, it looks like. Well, let us just go and stab these dicks, eh? They're pretty low strength, and our army's pretty, pretty big. Cleanse our land. So we should just be able to, you know... Yeah. What do we got? We've got their leader, Shady. He's got a shield, he's got a sword, okay. Uh, savage orcs. Goblins, orc arrow boys, goblin archers, and ooh, wolf rider archers. Alright, so they have some cavalry. Which is not actually a huge problem, because I think our, you know, I think we can deal with that. Okay. So we're on the same old battlefield. I guess this is the Corone battlefield. Or one of them at least. And our opponents have arrayed themselves here. Fortunately, again, we have trebuchets. We massively outrange them, which means that we can just kind of sit here, blinking at them, and force them to come to us. I'm just going to a strategic view, because it's way more convenient for me. You guys are fine where you are, but I actually kind of want to try and force them onto this open field here. So if I park you guys like this, what is your range like? Okay, good. You're still you're still hitting things from there. Although we'll move you just a little bit over. There we go. So that should force them to come to us, and they should advance up this like open slope here, hopefully. Uh, which means that we can. Where are my spearmen? God, I really wish I really wish I could see the unit things from the uh, tactical view because the tactical view is really nice. I like the kind of top-down view. I think it gives you more. It's better. So let's just we'll spread you guys out. All right, so you'll only go into three ranks. Looks like, which is fine. And then once the actual battle starts, we can just move you guys up in front of the trebuchets with our men at arms. Just grab all of them. Forming some blocks behind you. So I see what I'm, uh... There we go. So the idea is that the orcs will, you know, charge into the spearmen, who are good at defense, and then the men-at-arms can kind of counter-attack into them. And... Actually, I can put the archers in front, now that I think about it. Just put you guys sort of along here, I guess. How far can I spread you out? Okay, you guys will spread out pretty damn far. And then, we've got Grell Knights, we've got Knights Errant, we've got our leader, we've got our Pegasus Knights, Knights of the Realm, Knights Errant. Okay, that's a pretty good division right there. I'm going to grab the Grail Knights and Knights Errant over here. And you guys can just form up right there, have them kind of set up on the flank to charge into the Orcs. Same deal for you guys. Where am I going to put you, actually? 
I guess we can try and have these guys kind of sweep down the river towards them. See if we can get behind them. So that would be actually quite convenient. And Leon Kerr. You're going to hang out with the infantry because I suspect they need the most leadership. And the Pegasus Knights are going to wait in reserve and we'll see what we can do with them. So, we can now get this battle started. Now just pause for a minute. I really, really wish I could... Like, I don't know why the HUD disappears when you go into the tactical view. It would be really nice to be able to see what I'm doing. Anyways, we'll move our archers up ever so slightly. Just form them up in a line right about here. Yep, yeah, that should be perfect. Then the spearmen. Gonna form up behind them. Try and... There we go. Wonderful. Swordsmen directly behind them. Here we are. Eh. Okay, there we go. That's fine. Now, cavalry. You guys are going to form up kind of here-ish. There we go. Three ranks. Perfect. And you guys. I don't really know what to do with you guys, I guess. Just kind of... You guys can just wait there, really. And Leon Kerr, you are going to move up to there. Okay. God, I wish I could unpause from here. I have to look at the hotkeys and see if I can. Uh... Be sure to use your mounted soldiers to full effect, Commander. Harass the enemy formation and strike at their weakest points. I mean, I'm using shock cavalry, so I can't really use them for harassment. That's the issue. I just need to, like, ram them into things and try and break the enemy for you, Wolf Rider Archers. Oh, where are, my, where are my archers? You guys need to be in skirmish mode. Okay, so it looks like they are, in fact, heading straight for my trebuchets, which is good. Where are my other cavalry? You guys. Just sort of form yourselves up. Go. All right, like that should be perfect. There's our archers firing. Ah, okay. So the wolf riders, wolf riders are going for it. Let's have our Pegasus knights try and deal with that little issue. And you guys are okay, but we're gonna let them move a little bit closer before we. Uh... Actually, you guys. Your troops will fire at will without orders to the contrary, Commander. Have them conserve their ammunition, if you so wish. I don't really need them to conserve their ammunition. Alright, let's get those goblin archers. So, here's where we're gonna pause, because here's where we're launching our counterattack. Oh, are those guys breaking already? Wow. Jesus. Okay, you guys can back off, because I don't need you fighting all of them. The archers can cease fire, and you guys, let me just bring up tactical map here so I can see a little bit better. You guys can actually just form up back here. And the trebuchets, da -da -da -da, also need to cease fire. And here is where our infantry, guard mode, oh, guard mode is where they just like hold position. You guys are going to just advance down here. Try and do, 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 do. There we go. Just try and take that point. Spearman as well. Ah, look at that. Spearmen are going to be in the back now because we're on offense, so I want the uh, men at arms to hit first. So we'll wait for the men at arms to pass by the spearmen before we order them to do anything. Okay, good. Archers are retreating. You guys hit them. Okay. So now, you guys go for them, along with, there should be some stream behind you. Just go for their hero. Those guys breaking. They're shaken, but I don't need both of you. I'm pretty sure one unit of heavy shock cavalry can probably take out a group of goblin archers on their own. You guys 
including, there should be a spearman, oh no, these spearmen are on the other side, right. You guys are going to go for the goblins there, and you guys, with the other spearmen, are going to go for the orcs, which you guys should also be hitting in the flank, so that should be fine. Where are our Pegasus Knights? Actually, are these guys fleeing? No, those guys are confident. Hmm, alright. I need to deal with those, so Pegasus Knights can take them. Alright, let's see how this turns out. Crunch. It's beautiful. Okay, Pegasus Knights, there we go. What's this battle looking like? Yep, they are broken, they are running the hell away. Just exactly as I intended it. Are those guys running? Yeah, those guys are breaking. Alright, Wolf Riders next, please. Pegasus Knights are taking out these archers, and my infantry are just stomping these guys. Hey, we win. Okay, let's, uh, we should be able to chase them down, right? We got a bunch of cavalry. I don't know that we can now. I don't think we're going to catch the Wolf Riders, unfortunately. I guess the Knights might be able to. But those guys are moving real fast. We're going to try and catch them, because it would be really nice to wipe them out before they get away. But I doubt it. Where are you guys all chasing? You can all kind of you know, finish off these... Finish off these units, please. Is anybody getting away? They're sort of getting away. They're all... Oh my god, there's... Oh, it's their, their leader. He's being chased around by an entire, like, regiment. Come on, somebody stab him, please. Look, he's just running. You don't need to run alongside him. You can just hit him. Right? I mean... Come on, guys. This ain't hard. Getting rid of their leader would be a huge bonus if I can get that. But, uh, looks like... This asshole's gonna get away. Where are you guys going? Go for their leader. Just everybody. Everybody! Where are my Pegasus Knights? They're coming. Very, very slowly. Is he even taking damage? Like, is anybody attacking him? No, he's just running. He's just running in the middle of them all. They're not, like, hitting him at all. Oh, someone just poked him. He's not doing anything. I don't think we're going to catch him. So we can just... Fast forward this. I'm not giving any more orders. We're just watching our uh, men at arms chase this orc around. Look at them! They're all just running alongside him. Oh, here come the knights. My hidden units are. I had hidden units? Okay, now we've got him like completely surrounded. Everybody's beating on him. Please kill him. I know he's a hero unit, but like he's a goblin. There's like an entire army beating on him right now. <laughs> His health is dropping so slowly. What is this? There we go. Did we win? Okay, we got him. And battle. No, I don't need to say the replay. Thank you, though. Hey, we got a decisive victory. We lost seven men to their 339. Jesus. Oh, got a banner, apparently. And we gained rank. Cool. And we gained some chivalry. Also cool. So, what does the Scarecrow Banner do? Mangled form of terrifying Scarecrow spent too long under Morsleb's glow. It was taken from the fields and now is a banner to frighten anything with wings. Drag the banner onto the unit you wish it to be applied to. Uh, da -da, flying... Minus four leadership to flying units, eh? Okay, so I can apply that to a... like, anybody. Well, why don't I throw it on some of my spearmen, since they're kind of... actually... No, I'll put it on my spearmen, because they're they're kind of my defensive troop, so there you go. Oh, I should have given it to the other one. Can I take it back? Give it to you. You guys you guys have done more work. Um, is this guy are these guys still like alive? This is the question. Like, does their army still exist? Oh my god, it does. Jesus. Yes, Shady is perish, thank you. Yes, thank you. I I got all that. Now, uh Leoncore I think leveled up. I can select him in some way. There we go. Did you level up? Yeah, he has a skill point. Which means I can get... This one. Recruitment cost minus three. Nice. 
And then we can chase I them down. Prevail. I mean, how many of them are there? There's like. There's. That's what? 70. I'm really sucking at math right now. 75? Yeah, 75 guys. Against my. 800 some odd, I think, was the last last number I saw. I think I'm just gonna auto resolve it. Oh my god, who could have foreseen this? There we go. What did we get? We lost five guys. And they are all dead. Gambler's armor. Interesting. And Leoncore leveled up again. Cool. And we gained more chivalry. Also cool. So what did, uh. Yeah, just execute captives, please. Alright, cool, thank you. What does the armor do that we got? King Lewis. Can I, how do I find out? Ah, here it is. Gambler's armor. Reynald, the god of thieves, trickers, and gamblers, has blessed the armor, and those who are willing to take a chance. Armor plus five, ward save ten percent. Neat. Well, that is, you know, sorted now. So we've, we've stopped the rebellion for now. And our town is upgrading itself. Can we get this? How much is... Oh, right. That's really, really expensive. And that, we need a windmill for, right? Yeah, we need a windmill. Oh, well. Such is life. Oh, I think... Oh, I need you to, uh... What would you have of me? Why don't you just come back over here-ish, I guess? My past is revealed. I don't know if positioning her anywhere in the region has any effect, but, you know, We will well. raise great edifices. There we go. Anyways, I think that's a pretty good place to call it for today. So, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next episode. Goodbye.